Welcome to a Global Mapper video about how to export a Global Mapper package. So you have created a map, you have done all of your edits to it and you're satisfied with what you have or you want to share it to a co-author for their review. What we want to do because of the nature of the way that Global Mapper works we want to export a map package. This is very similar to the process of exporting a map package in ArcGIS. The reason why we need to create a package is if we save the Global Mapper workspace by doing File, Save Workspace, and give that to someone, none of these shape files over here come across to the person using the workspace. This is the same issue with sharing a MXD with a different user if you're using ArcGIS. We have three really basic file types in Global Mapper and in ArcGIS. They are the layers, the map document, and the data. In this case, we're using shapefiles in ArcGIS. You may be using shapefiles, rasters, or uh, geodatabases. Because we want all of these components, the shapefiles and the workspace setup, the way things look, the, the layer style, because we want all of this to come across to the person who is going to review our map, we need to bundle all of that together and we do that by creating a map package. And in Global Mapper, we want to do File, Export, Global Mapper Package File. And what this does is it takes all of the shape files, all of our rasters, all of our PDFs, all of our uh, data, packages it all together in the format, and includes all of the workspace information as well. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and keep all of the information together. And in this case, we have a whole bunch of settings that we now need to specify. And it asks us, do we want to use some other information or do we want to preserve the workspace? So for projection, if we say keep original, it preserves the workspace's projection. Um, same thing with all of this. Do you want to choose a good zoom level, like where we're at right here, where it incorporates all of the data, or do you want to pick some other level? This is the part that maintains feature styles defaults. We want to make sure that's checked. So if we are editing our configuration by chance up here, that will uh, preserve those settings that we have specified. This is how the raster exports. Do we want to simplify our shape files or do we want to keep them the way they are or simplify them? For our purposes, we definitely want to keep them the way they are, unaltered, and that creates a larger file size. This is how the tiling of any images or rasters will be dealt with. And what are the export bounds that we want to deal with? And in this case, because it's just data relating to the Heron Reservoir 7.5 minute quad, we want to use all loaded data. You can block it out by drawing a box. You can mask it out by specifying uh, specific lat lawns that you want. And you can use a last exported one. But for this case, because the only data we have is related to the Heron Reservoir 7.5 minute quad, we're going to go ahead and just export all loaded data to this map package. We say OK. It asks us where we want to preserve it. And we can give it the same name. I usually specify um, either just the quad name 
or I go ahead and say that this is a map package for the user based on the expertise of the user. And we'll see that we're saving this as a global mapper package files. So it packages the map together and bundles it together so that everything comes across as one unit. And voila, we have now created a map package. Okay, now let's take a look and see what happens when we open a global mapper workspace where someone has shared it with us and it hasn't actually been packaged together. We get a whole bunch of errors right off the bat and it's a byproduct of not having the data associated with what the workspace is trying to open. So if we say open data files and we go to the location where we saved our global mapper workspace, not a package, a workspace, and open it up, we get errors. And the errors represent that we could not find specific data. We couldn't find GMP, we could the original global mapper package that was shared out. And it asks us, where is this? And I'm going to say cancel because I don't know. No, I don't want to cancel the entire operation. And here we see that we're missing that global mapper original package. And it shows that we're missing PDFs. And it should also show here that we're missing the shape files associated with that. Yeah, so here we have what came across. And the only thing that came across actually is two features that weren't passed to a specific shape file when we create features. So they're floating around in space and are now uh, disjoined from that map. And one of the downfalls of this is I don't know where these actually go. One of the good parts is with the map package is I can figure out where these are actually supposed to go based on what the features are. So that's why it's important to go ahead and share map packages and save workspaces for yourself. There's a fundamental difference between a workspace and a package. A package contains all of the data, all of the layers in your control center, as well as the workspace settings, whereas a workspace just preserves the workspace with none of the data added. Thank you very much for listening to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact me. Thank you very much.